My name is Rick Beeman. Well, we've been in business like 33 years total. It is a long time. You know, I do. I love. I like my business. I enjoy bringing a lot of pleasure to a lot of people. Um, you know, and then a big part of our business is kind of the exotic side, and that's a big part that I really enjoy. Is just, you know, the diversification of species, different animals, and so it's fun. Yes. I, I remember when I was a kid, I, I had family up here, and we'd come up here a lot, and they had their original site was off of Cerritos. It's a homeless shelter now, but there used to be two big dinosaurs out in the front, and it was obviously called Jurassic Pets. We were on Cerritos Road and, and just trying to run our business as efficiently as we possibly can. So we found um, a better location, a lot less rent, so it was very beneficial for us. And I feel like because of the new location, he, people don't really know exactly where it is. Santa Fe is a very challenging market to make a living in. We have no middle class in our market, so um, it's a challenging market. The box stores definitely can, you know, are very devastating in the internet to all of us that are small business, but they have no knowledge. They, they have terrible customer service, and my customer supports me, so it's imperative that I support my customer and give them the knowledge that they need. And no disrespect to the box stores, but if you don't know what you want, then you're not going to get anything. Excuse me. Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? Um, can I get someone to help me with some questions about hamsters? Or Like it knows or something. <laughs> do you ever like knock them out right before, or do you just put them in there? are able to be handled so you get that that contact which makes them great you know and again no disrespect but you know come pick up one of our hamsters we'll use a hamster for an example they can go to pet or pet smart and try to pick them up they don't allow you to pick them up because they haven't been handled i mean the animal doesn't allow you to pick them up and then you end up getting bit because they just don't get that hands-on um, which is imperative when with certain animals they need that contact when they don't get that contact they just sit in a cage and get grouchy and everything's touch which people really like the snakes that are hanging over your head freak a lot of people out but they remember my business they're like oh you're the guy with all the snakes hanging over your head and it's like absolutely so I always refer to that as imprinting on that individual they remember my store so that's kind of fun all my customers come back to me I would say 99 percent um, all come back you know of course you can't please everybody but we work extra hard to do that and you know go out of the way to please somebody you know here's a good example there's a certain cat litter I have a client one and I ordered it for them they were always kind enough to come to me to buy it from a small business and my supplier didn't have it so I actually went last week to Petco I bought it from Petco so I could provide that for my customer when they walk my door that kind of service that you just don't get from from other box stores for you know right. chain stores so and then the internet is devastating you know you can buy everything I sell in my store online for half what I sell it for so the internet is definitely impacting all of the small businesses in another 20 years there won't be any more small businesses we're already seeing stores like uh, Old Navy for an example I was watching CNN a couple of months ago 
And the CEO said that 68% of all of their transactions, all of their sales transactions for Old Navy are done on handheld devices, as in, uh, in tablets or cell phones. So we're all losing that retail market. It's going away. And we're already seeing big stores closing because they just simply um, can't afford to pay the big rents anymore. So again, it's going towards the internet, which is devastating for all of us that have small businesses. If I was gonna give any advice to a small business, it would be first start with a website. You don't need to spend an extravagant amount of money on it. You just need to have something that's functional and that is clean and that has really good content. So in the world of internet marketing, your website is your presence. I think the mistake is people drive people to social media instead of using their website to drive social media, if that makes sense. So you need to have a hub, you need to have a foundation. If you have a good website that you've put a lot of time and effort into, you can use that to have, invite people to share with their networks your business. And that's going to have a huge effect. You know, that's probably the best thing for, probably for me to do, but I'm very old school. I'm not very computer savvy, so that's something that we're currently talking about now, getting somebody to, you know, get us out there so we have all the um, electronic um, resources, I guess you could say. Get to the, you know, the general public, spread that media out there. So, yeah, we're looking, looking forward to starting that. Okay. For a business, a small business to compete with a chain store, I mean, obviously chain stores have supply. They're able to get things and they're able to offer them cheaper than their small business counterparts. However, there are a lot of people who enjoy the small town mom and pa style experience. We all have a restaurant that we go to because of the atmosphere. We all have stores that we, we go to or salons or barbers or whatever it is because we appreciate the fact that it is a small business. So you have to kind of step up your game in other ways. And that is you need to provide kind of a familial or family style atmosphere for your clients. They need to feel welcome. You need to remember things like their birthdays. And you need to remember things like who, what's their pet's names if you're a pet store. Those types of things provide an experience that your customers are going to remember. And if you can do that, then they're going to come back. I think Rick is pretty cool. Like I said, he's really relaxed. Um, he just... He loves what he does. It's absolutely worth it, yeah, yeah.